Hello my cyber sisters, it's your girl Taylor, back with another video. Today's video is going to be a pamper routine. But before we get into this video, let's get into this skin. Do you guys see how my skin looks right now? So as you guys know, summer's over. I miss you summer so much. But now we're in fall, so you know when seasons change, our skin changes. And I saw that BioClarity reached out to me and they have decided to sponsor this video. They sent your girl out some products, your girl got to try them, and you guys know. You guys know, if you're a true supporter of mine, you know how picky I am with my skin, you know how picky I am with everything, because you know homegirl does not settle with anything in her life. Along with showing you the BioClarity products, of course, I'm also going to show you my pamper routine. First, before we get into our pamper day, our spa day, we're going to be cleansing our face because you always want to start with what? Clean hands and a clean face. So I already cleaned my hands. We're going to go ahead and clean our faces. So today I'm personally using the clear skin routine. The clear skin routine is for people who have oily to acne prone skin. So to make it nice and easy for you, they have it numbered. This is cleanse one. So as you know, this is the first step. And the ingredients in it, let's go ahead and look at this really quick because you know the esthetician in me. You guys know I went to aesthetic school, so I know a little bit about skincare. I want to look a little bit more into the, you know, the ingredients. So cucumber, green tea, and chamomile. Do you know what all those have in common? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to tell you. So what they have in common is they have awesome calming properties. So this is awesome for the person that has sensitive skin or you have inflamed acne or you just have skin that reacts to drying harsh cleansers this is definitely not going to dry you out this is definitely not really harsh so how you apply this is you just want to wet your skin a little bit and then you lather it on a nice little lather going i feel like one of those people off the commercials <laughs> and i love to go right here to clean out any pores in my nose and then on my cheeks because my cheeks is where i break out the most so when i'm drying off my face i'm always careful of how i dry it so i pat dry my face so that I don't cause any extra irritation or redness. Also, make sure you're switching out your towel or washcloth at least every other day to cut down on bacteria, and when you cut down on bacteria, you cut down on acne. Speaking of acne, we're gonna go into step two, which is awesome. This is called Treat, and it has the number two on it. And this is so amazing for people with acne. Like, this has helped me so much. Let's look at the ingredients in this. They have 2% salicylic acid, which right away, I already know this is gonna help with acne because salicylic acid, from what I learned in school, is amazing amazing for acne it's gonna help to clear out any acne that you have as well as prevent acne from forming in the future and then it has oat kernel and acne treatment in there so we're just getting all of the great stuff in here How you put this on is you don't want to put this all over your face just because it can be a little bit drying so you want to put it in the areas that you feel like you have a little bit more problems with so for me it's my cheeks then a little bit on my forehead. Right in the middle of my forehead, I don't know why, I always have a pimple there right before my period. I'm going to put it in the areas that you have a little bit more problems with. And it's okay, because we can fix that. That's why we have the skincare system. And then after that, you're going to go on with one of my favorite parts of this entire routine. Step three, this is the restore. And it has a kind of like their secret ingredient, their secret like, what would you call this? The Superman of all products in the world, okay? This has something called Floralux in it, which has chlorophyll. And what is chlorophyll? It's that stuff that makes plants green. But what does chlorophyll do that I'm loving? It reduces hyperpigmentation. So, you can help get rid of the dark spots. And if you don't know what hyperpigmentation is, it's when you have acne and then maybe you were too impatient and you popped your pimple and now you have a scar. That's hyperpigmentation. But in chlorophyll, there's properties in there that can actually help to fade dark spots and hyperpigmentation, which is so amazing for my skin because that's what I struggle with the most. I can have literally the most clear skin ever, but it's still not gonna look super clear just because I do have dark spots. And I'm so happy that I have this to help combat with that. BioClarity is a plant-based skincare line. So, you know, you only want what's best going in your skin because your skin's a sponge. Whatever you put on your skin, it's gonna soak it up. Skin smoothie. So the ingredients in this are Floralux, which is the chlorophyll, meaning I'm gonna get that extra attention to my dark spots, some argan and some olive. Argan oil and olive oil are very, very light oils and they're amazing for the skin. So your skin's gonna get that natural glowy look 
and it's gonna feel extremely moisturized and it's also breathable so you don't feel like you have a heavy film all over your face and it puts on your neck because you know moisturize that neck and your neck's not gonna age it <laughs> you can never start the anti-aging process too early so that is all you do for the skincare routine like i said this is the clear skin one and if you don't have acne prone or oily skin then you can also try out the essentials line which is just as awesome and we're gonna go into a face mask a little bit later by bioclarity but not yet because i have a few things to show you let's go ahead and get out the bathroom i'm gonna meet you in the kitchen So first things first, we're going to start off with our hair mask. So first of all, spa days and pamper days do not need to be a whole bunch of money. You don't need to go out there and spend $500 on a spa day and go out to all these different places when you can spend $5 and have a great spa day inside your home. So we're going to go ahead and take an avocado and we're just going to take a fork, put it in our bowl and just scoop it out. Just scoop it out like that. And then avocados have pits in them or seeds so you just want to take that out <laughs> put the rest of your avocado inside the bowl like that and this should be enough for anyone honestly i mean unless you have a whole bunch of hair then you can just go ahead and do two avocados okay now we're going to take some coconut oil coconut oil is amazing for your hair um avocado is also amazing for your hair so this is just gonna make your hair super soft and moisturized from all the heat that you've been putting on it, probably from straightening it, girl, because it got cold all of a sudden. Or maybe you just put too much heat on there, maybe it's color treated. Whatever the issue is or whatever problems you have with your hair, this treatment is really gonna help to make your hair really soft, shiny, and just more manageable. So with that, we're gonna take the fork and we're just gonna mix these ingredients together. And you just want to get it so there's like not that many lumps in there. Now we have our hair mask. It was that simple, literally took less than two minutes. This is your hair mask. All right, so next we're going to go into making our lip scrub and our body scrub. Because like I said, when the weather changes, our skin changes. Meaning our skin's going to be a little bit more dry. So girl, if you want that soft, like silky like skin, that baby skin, I have a recipe for you. You're going to need some coconut oil and some salt, sea salt preferably, or some sugar will work too. This is just some fine Mediterranean sea salt, and Mediterranean sea salt and Himalayan salts have really good benefits for the skin. Some people actually take Himalayan salt baths, or salt baths in general, so. It's because you want enough for your whole body, and you also want enough for your lips. And then we're gonna take some coconut oil of a scrub. So we're just gonna mix this together. And then this is the final product. It just looks like some grits or some porridge or something, but this is actually a very, very moisturizing um, body scrub. And you can add in your favorite essential oils. I have some vanilla essential oil that I'm gonna add in there later. So when you are rubbing this on your skin, that essential oil scent will actually get on your skin. So when you're done with everything, not only are you super soft, but you smell like vanilla or whatever you put inside of there. So it's a win-win situation. That smell sticks around for a really long time. So I really love that. And aromatherapy is one of my favorite kinds of therapy. So that's that. Now we're gonna go ahead and head over back to the bathroom and start our pamper spa day. The bubble bath that I use is the Mr. Bubbles. I used to use this when I was a little kid, actually, believe it or not. And um, it is the extra gentle Mr. Bubbles hypoallergenic. Like I said earlier, inside of our body scrub, we're gonna use some essential oils. And this essential oils I just got from TJ Maxx, and it is the scent vanilla. So I just put like four drops. So one, two, so. We're gonna go ahead and mix that around so that it's even. We have the nice vanilla scent inside of our bath water and we have it inside of our body scrub. So we're gonna be smelling like some vanilla, warm vanilla frappuccinos, <laughs> you know what I mean? Is a frappuccino even warm? I don't go to Starbucks that often if you can't tell. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our hair mask in. So this is our avocado hair mask and how I like to do it is I like to put my hair into two different sections. We're gonna start by putting the avocado on our ends of our hair and moving it up. Making sure we're getting it evenly distributed throughout all of our hair. And this works best on already kind of dampish hair. My hair was a little bit damp. Now I'm putting this all in my hair. 
and then a little bit more on the ends because I love to concentrate product on my ends just because if you have to keep cutting your ends because your ends keep getting split then you're not going to experience any hair growth so it was when I started taking care of my ends more that I noticed my hair really started to grow because I didn't have to keep cutting on it every you know three weeks because I had split ends so on this side put in a little bun okay so now we're about to get in the bathtub before we get in we're going to go ahead and put on our mask so this mask is by BioClarity and it is the hydrating mask and it's called Glow Getter and it has coconut, bergamot, and sandalwood in there. So what this is supposed to do is just make your skin glow, give you that soft, nice skin. It's actually bentonite clay based, which, you know, takes the impurities out of your skin and it's a peel off mask. So when you're done, it'll get all nice and dry and it's easy cleanup. All you have to do is just peel this off. And you're going to reveal your beautiful glowing skin. And this really just makes me feel like I'm at a spa. Also, if you guys are interested in BioClarity and you don't have acne prone skin, they have an essentials line. And the essential line is based on people who have drier skin. I'm going to leave their website down below so you guys can check them out. And let's go ahead and get on with the rest of the spa. Day. she like makes specifically for me so like they're not on the market or anything but like my mom makes products specifically for my hair with different natural oils and things like that natural oils are the way to go for your hair and hair growth because for the longest time I could not get my hair to grow and I started putting like oil treatments and using avocado especially avocado eating avocados has helped my hair grow tremendously so yeah that's what I do for my hair Okay, so I'm just taking this aromatherapy by Bath & Body Works. It's vanilla and patchouli, which I love those scents. They're very calming to me. I love the scent of vanilla. If you guys can't tell, it's like my favorite scent ever. Box in the moisture. It says for 24 hours, which in my experience, I would say that's pretty true because my skin stays super soft using this. And I just put that on to lock in the moisture after I do with the scrub and stuff like that. Plus, your skin's going to already be moisturized just from the pure fact that you use the scrub because the scrub has coconut oil in it. But going over with the body butter just makes it so much more luxurious, so much more pampering, and you just feel like so soft and so good. I don't know why, but feeling moisturized is like the best thing in the world. So we've already covered physical beauty, you know, the skin, taking care of the skin, taking care of the hair, all of those amazing things that make you feel good and make you feel really put together. But nothing makes you feel more put together than when your mind is in a good space. So rule number one for this is make sure your room's clean. I had to clean my room, girl. It was not 100% clean before this video started. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But um, I went ahead and I cleaned my room up because I know a clean surrounding gives you a clean mind. When you have a clear mind, you're able to accomplish goals. You're able to be more successful. You're able to give more of yourself. That's what this whole day is about. It's about taking care of yourself mentally, physically, spiritually. And, you know, if you are a person that believes in God, you know, spend some time with God during this time. And if not, then spend some time with yourself and whatever you believe in. Just make sure you're doing it for you. And the reason I'm just so passionate about getting this video out to you guys is because these past couple of months, I really, truly realized how important self-care is, how important taking care of your skin is, how important taking care of your mind is. Because when you don't take care of yourself, you can't fully take care of others. You can't help someone if you can't help yourself because if your cup is half full and you this other person needs a little bit of your water, you're empty. So you gotta put into you first in order to give out so much love, so much abundance, so much effort, so much energy to others. And it, it's gonna be so appreciated by everyone around you by taking care of you. Taking care of yourself is never a selfish thing. If you wanna take a whole Sunday and dedicate it to you, 
Why not? You need to do that so that you can give to everyone else the rest of the six days out of the week. It's important to take time for you. Go ahead and check out Buy Clarity. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that link down below along with the code. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think. But don't forget, stay positive, stay prosperous, and stay popping. And I'll see you guys next time. Love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.